Welcome to Cooking with Curtis and Happy Mother's Day. I'm so excited to have you back in my kitchen. And tonight, because it's Mother's Day, we are going to prepare a feast. I normally cook one dish, but tonight I'm cooking three. Count them. One, two, three dishes. And I will apologize because I tried to go earlier in the week to get a haircut. And now my barber has been illegal. He's been functioning throughout the entire pandemic. Um, so don't call 301 and, and tell the mayor. But I went on Saturday morning at 8 o'clock. He fell asleep and overslept. But before long, I will have these waves back. You'll be dizzy as you stare at the waves that are going to be flowing through my head. But So you have to bear with me. But I'm excited about Mother's Day. It's one of my favorite times of the year. But also it's a very difficult time. So 17 years ago... My mother passed away, actually the weekend after Mother's Day. So it's always very, very important to me to be able to recognize those mothers who sacrifice, who do without sometimes for us. And I've got so many mothers who stood up and stepped in after my mother's death. I had five older sisters, four who are living now. They stepped in. I had aunts. I had cousins. I had colleagues. So there are all these people who made me feel as if just because my mother was no longer here physically, that I had someone that would keep me connected and that would um, make sure that I was well taken care of. So I want to thank, send a very, very, very happy Mother's Day to all the mothers in my world and to all the mothers in your world. So to, on tonight's menu, we're gonna have garlic mashed potatoes. We're going to have this pasta vegetable dish that I've made up. I don't have a name for it yet, but we'll come up with one. And then we're gonna have these garlic biscuits garlic cheddar biscuits. Now, these biscuits remind me, at least in the description, they remind me of the biscuits that you get at the Red Lobster Kits. And I must tell you that one of my favorite students from Wagner, Rachel, told me, and, and, and Rachel was a fantastic little girl from, from Boston, and she would say that Red Lobster was not a destination. It was where you ended up after all the other places um, that you didn't get a reservation in or the lines were too long and so you found yourself a Red Lobster. It wasn't necessarily where you planned to go. So that's my free tip of dating advice. For anybody who's looking to take their significant other out on a romantic evening or according to Rachel Walker, Red Lobster is not the place. But I will tell you that those biscuits keep me satisfied for hours on end. And so the recipe that I'm using tonight is actually a recipe by our president, run over it. Now, I will talk to you through those recipes, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put my potatoes in my pot of boiling water that is already boiling. As I said, I started out and I peeled these potatoes and I cut them so you know it's not a box potato mix. I'm going to put them right here in my pot of hot boiling water. And I'm also going to add one clove of garlic that I chopped up already. So while that's boiling, while that's getting great, I'm going to now talk you through my biscuit mix. So over here, I've got my biscuit pan, well my, not my biscuit pan, it's my, my bowl for everything. But in it, I'm going to put one cup of flour. Any kind of flour. The president says he makes half almond, half regular. I have all full regular flour. So I've got my cup of flour. Put that right in there. The other dry ingredients that you need are a tablespoon, a tablespoon of baking powder. So you see here, just regular great value baking powder. A half a teaspoon of garlic salt. I'm using Lowry's garlic salt. A fourth of a teaspoon of kosher salt. Got to be careful. The last time I used the kosher salt, it got me. Was too much salt in there. So I'm going to mix my dry materials in like that and I also put a, a table a teaspoon of sugar. So I'm going to mix all this stuff together and while I've done that I have preheated my oven to 350. So I've got that all completely 
mix together. Now I'm gonna add a cup, a half a cup of milk to this. I use, because I don't drink cow's milk, I'm using silk. Quick, it's a nice little um, vanilla soy substitute. Delicious. We're also going to add a half a cup of Greek yogurt to our mix. Sorry, I'm sorry, a, a half a tablespoon of Greek yogurt to our mix. And a half a tablespoon of olive oil. So, putting this in here, and I'm thinking about all the meals that I would get as a child from some of my favorite mothers. And my favorite thing to eat that my mother would make was dressing. And I've not had a good dressing since my mother passed away. Now my sister Yvonne, she is pretty close to it, but I've not had a good one since my mom passed away. Now in addition to all of those dry things, we're gonna put my favorite thing, cheese. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna measure out what I think in my head to be a half a cup of sharp cheddar and a half a cup of mozzarella. But so like I said, Yvonne makes a pretty good um, dressing. And like I said, it's not quite my mom's, but it is good. And I'll, I'll give her her credit where credit is due. So I'm just gonna throw that in there. I think that's about a half a cup. And I'm gonna do, again, a half a cup of sharp cheddar. Now, Dr. Varek claims that for those people with a more subtle palate, we could add another little item in there. And so my palate is anything but subtle. So I said, let's do it. So I have chopped up a full jalapeno. He says a half a jalapeno. So I got a full jalapeno here. And we're gonna throw this bad boy in here. And now let's mix this up. To get a nice consistency consistency here. So I've got my pan here and I'm going to take my biscuit mix. I'm just going to dump it out here. Turn this down so you can see just a little bit maybe what it looks like. I'm going to put it on top of my hot boiling water so you can see it. So I've got it here and I'm just going to make a couple of little balls for my biscuit. So you have what I am confident will be delicious. Now the president also talks about putting bacalao or other kinds of saltfish. I think that's disgusting. So we're not going to do that. But if you want to do that, you go ahead and do that. But for me, not so much. Now what I will tell you when you do this and you just put your pan on top, you're going to get a little heat, right? So I'm going to put this in the oven for about 20 minutes.